All right, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, I guess, but I took a leave of absence over the past few weeks, unintentionally at first, and then I kind of kept it as a little vacation. I mean, I give myself these vacations every now and then. Just if I'm, if I'm not feeling it, that's what I'll do. Um, but during the break, before I did this unexpected break, I was intending to do a video talking about Dumbo, and I still want to do a quick one. It's not as fresh in my mind, but I feel like it's worth mentioning because it was just such a glorious, glorious disaster. Going into this movie, I was not like extremely excited for it. I had a feeling I was like, how does Dumb I can't see how Dumbo can translate well to a live action film. But I didn't expect it to be nearly as bad as it can be because Disney generally has a a mark of quality on it, almost like a Nintendo thing where nine times out of ten you're gonna come out even if you didn't enjoy it as much as some other people might have you'll at least say that was a quality film it was well made but this one was just a disaster on all fronts okay so <laughs> first of all you miss out on the entire the whole magic of Dumbo it really does not translate well to a live-action thing because it's a simple story and it was a very short film originally too and they like I think over double the length pretty much for this film uh, which resulted in not only a deviation from what it was in its classic charm, which is lost without the animation going into live action, that charm of Dumbo is lost. But also in that deviation, you have characters that were never like in the original Dumbo characters that like are now the main focus more so than Dumbo himself. It's almost like the the live action stars are or are, are they're, they're trying to push them as the lead roles. But no one really cares, no one watch, watches Dumbo to hear about, I can't even remember their names now, the main characters in their family. Weird family with a weird little girl. And, I, no, it was, just, it was not interesting at all. Like, the characters themselves were not great, even if they, they did, even if I, they convinced me to care about them in a Dumbo movie. They weren't great to begin with, so. Not a great foundation for the film, you know, that's like, the basis of the entire film, the structure, is like the characters. Everything falls on the characters, and the characters aren't great. Um, you have Danny DeVito is in this movie, and he was pretty good. I mean, he fit the role he was playing, but even so, he wasn't like a huge standout star in the film. Um, definitely the most interesting to watch. Uh, <laughs> And Dumbo, yeah, Dumbo himself, the moments that were kind of like magical in the original animated Dumbo film, they're not as magical. And they like they try to replicate them like the reveal of Dumbo and how magical it was. Um, but in live action with CG, not doesn't translate as well. Um, it's not charming, it's not really as cute, nearly as cute. And also like the disgusting, the two-dimensional characters... Not literally two-dimensional, but personality-wise and development-wise, two-dimensional. The characters who would like the one that was, would whip Dumbo all the time and just be angry at the, <laughs> and just hating on Dumbo. It, it's not fun to watch. Like the original Dumbo had some of that, but it was an older film, and it was animated, so it was a little more palatable than say some random actual actual human dude who's just being stupid and it's so hard to like put my head around it right now but and then by the end of the movie there were uh, ex extravagant explosions this entire circus area is blowing up and there's like an entire amusement park that was never even in the original Dumbo that was such a focus of this film I was watching it and I literally said wow this what movie am I even watching this is not Dumbo this is some other freak of nature that I'm watching this product here it has nothing to do with the original Dumbo what it, what it meant the like the feelings behind it the charm of it it's just this is like an example you can point to as a film and say this is what Disney does wrong and not to say it's Disney does a lot of things good, but you can tell at its core that they're still just trying for money is all they really want in the end. Live action Dumbo, not good. <laughs> just not good. 
Because not only did it not make sense on a storytelling perspective, like there was nothing to gain from making it live action, they added, yes, a whole new story to it, but it just lessened the original like idea behind it, and you lose all the magic from it. It just felt felt very icky afterwards. It was like there were a lot of cringy moments. Cringy moments in a Disney film just should not exist. They do, they don't. I can't recall another Disney film that had this level of like cringy and just like am I really watching this right now moments like I I watched it with my mom and my brother and when we were watching it it's just like we were watching some B movie that's how we were taking it like even my mom who is not like huge into analyzing films stuff like that like she just wants to be entertained she was even just watching it and laughing at the movie rather than with it like we were and it was crazy you that's not what they intended at all with making the movie so a huge huge disaster <laughs> just i didn't go into the movie not wanting to like it i never want to say i don't like a movie but this one is pretty easily easy for me to say um just not it was <laughs> it was not done well all right that's it i'm not going to talk too much more on that um if I had had just watched it, this is just off the top of the head, like from weeks ago when I did watch it. If I just watched it, maybe I'd have more to say. But just trying to put it all together right now, it's rough. But uh, one thing I know is it was not good. <laughs>